Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. Are you excited for the show today? I think it's gonna be legendary. Legendary. Yes. Yes, we have had some phenomenal guests on English no Kuruhaju. We have had your dad. We've had friends of ours, other English teachers. It's been really, really great. Yes. But today, it's the first time we're moving into the world of Brazilian politics. Yeah. So I don't know what else to say because I want people to be so excited as, as we are right now. As excited as we are. As excited as we are right now. Yeah. So, Foster, first of all, what do you think about my English? Is it good? People can understand me. Like, is it okay? No. <laughs> Why are you asking that? Yeah, your English is great. Okay. So, no, just to make a point of comparison with the this person that will be with us. <laughs> okay, so, Alexia, let me tell you what we're going to do today. So, one of my favorite political podcasts in the U.S. is called Love It or Leave It. Love It or Leave It. Yeah, the guy's name is John Lovett, so it's kind of a pun, a play on words when they're saying love it or leave it, but they always have a segment on the show called OK Stop. Mm -hmm. And how? How is it? How does it work? Uh-huh. That's a great question. So with OK Stop, they will just listen to normally a piece of media, normally Fox News, and when they hear OK Or when they hear anything that they want to stop and talk about it, normally he has a panel of three or four people. All you have to do is say, okay, stop. And we stop and we talk about it. Okay, so the idea with this episode is to do almost the same. Yeah, the idea of this episode is we are going to listen to our friend and uh, yeah, we're going to listen to Eduardo Bolsonaro speaking English. This video has been going around Facebook. And I wanted to talk about his English because is he the new ambassador to We the don't US? know yet. Okay. <laughs> the potential <laughs> new ambassador to the U.S. Welcome to the show. Alexia, whenever you want, just say, okay, stop. Good evening, Louie and everybody. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Thanks about this space. Yeah, we have a real challenge ahead. Like, Okay, stop. <laughs> he said... Good evening, Louis. First, pretty aggressive. The guy that is interviewing him, his name is Lou Dobbs, just going straight in and calling him Louis. Which is like a nickname, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then he says, thanks about this space. <laughs> We have a big challenge. -y. So first of all, I think he wants to say, thanks for having me on the show. Yes. He, he was trying to say, obrigada pelo espaço. Oh, yeah, I know. He's directly <laughs> translating in his head. And then he is also saying challenge you, challenge you. So he's adding the extra E sound. This is what we call uma vogal de apoio or a supporting vowel. In aquela mania que a maioria dos brasileiros tem de colocar um E no final de cada coisa. Like Facebook, YouTube. So this would be thanks for the space. No, thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, no one says thanks for the space. Uh-huh. Should we continue? Yeah. But someone have to do that. We okay, stop. <laughs> so he says, but someone have to do that. Someone has. Yes. Clean it up, a lot of mess and a lot of corrupt. Okay, stop. A lot of corruption, right? <laughs> a lot of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to take a long time. <laughs> oh, just, okay, Let's let's keep going. And uh, that's also why my father just named it the, as the next. Okay, stop. My father just named it as. Alexa, do you want to correct his mistake? Um, he's my... saying name it, but he's trying to say the verb to name someone into a position in the past. Named? Named. Justice Minister of Brazil, the judge Sergio Moro, who is in the head right. okay, of the stop. car wash operation. <laughs> <laughs> Meu Deus. Okay, so. É tão bom. This saying... is gold. Edu. Valeu. Dudu. No, Dudu é Dudu Paz. He has to be <laughs> something else. Um, é, he said. Como é que ele falou? Justice, né? 
he said justice when he yes. should say justice. justice. This is the schwa sound. Uh, uh, uh. On top of that, he was trying to say the judge, Sergio Moru, and he said the juji. I, I couldn't even the get that because I was paying attention at the justice. Yeah, so when he said judge, he was literally saying juji, juji, which is an excellent example of the fact that English is not a phonetic language, which means the way we write in English, Eduardo, it's not the way that we speak. So the way we say this word is simply judge, judge, judge. Perfect. Great job, Alexia. Thank you. I could be the new ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. At, I... at least because of my English, not because of the rest of the things, because. <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about is we've had several friends and I've actually had several students who are either Brazilian diplomats or they work in the Brazilian Foreign Service. And when they are trying to improve their English, it's like, okay, my English is 98%. I want to work on some small accent things. But we've met people that work in the Brazilian Foreign Service that I think, oh my God, your English is much, much better than mine. And we are only talking about the English factor here, right? Imagine the other things. <laughs> What, like, just intellect in general? Yes, being capable of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So some of the smartest people I've ever met in my life come from the Brazilian government. This is not trying to be political at all. I'm just saying that I've met four people that work in the Brazilian Foreign Service, and they are geniuses with perfect English. Okay, let's go. Okay. And and this is uh, at a time when overwhelmingly he's being your father is being called the Trump of Brazil. Okay, stop. <laughs> this is a an audio podcast, but when Lou Dobbs said your father is being called the Trump of Brazil, Eduardo, <laughs> <laughs> he's smiling. <laughs> has just the cheesiest smile. Like, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, he is looking at uh, reducing taxes. He's focusing on moving government to serve the people uh, and strengthening the military. Okay, uh, and, and many... Fuck Lou Dobbs. Amor. Okay, go. <laughs> many do not understand how important Brazil is to this hemisphere. Uh, over 200 million people, uh, the, uh, a, a, a once strong and prosperous <laughs> economy that's deteriorated. Okay, stop. Uh, these... I think this is just illustrative. It demonstrates... Um, a real thing that he said most people don't realize how important Brazil is to this hemisphere. Yeah, but that's true. That is true. Not even Trump. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Trump does not know where Brazil is. Okay, let's keep going. Challenges. What will be your father's first steps uh, upon taking office as president of, uh, of Brazil? We are going to have as economy ministry Dr. Mr. Paulo Guedes who is graduated in the Chicago <laughs> University, and he is on... Okay, stop. Um, we're going to have, it as the economy ministry, Mr. Paulo Guedes. I don't know if I would <laughs> consider that English. We are going to have, as... Como é que é? O que ele falou? As... The econ economy ministry... He wants to say as the minister of the economy or the economic minister. Uh-huh. And then making zero effort to try to make names intelligible yeah. for he's Would just be saying, Paulo Guedes. Yeah, you could or just anything, a little bit of a <laughs> little bit of effort. But I would like to point out that so far, I'm just listening to this right now. I would say his English is basic. Like, it looks like the interviewer is having a good bit of difficulty understanding him. But let's let's be honest here. Like, I know that Lou is having a little bit of uh, difficulty to understand him. But at the same time, he's getting everything that Eduardo wants to say. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a point that many of our students that won't, they, they don't want to do their first class on Cambly or they're shy or they're embarrassed about their English. You guys speak better than the potential ambassador to the United States. So that's a positive in your direction. Yeah. 
So, Alexia, what do you say that tomorrow we finish up with Eduardo because he's already given us a lot of material for today? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs>